The 2022 Grammy Awards will be held in Las Vegas this April. It was postponed because of the fast-spreading Omicron variant. This year's award show will also be the first to take place outside of New York or Los Angeles since 1973. John Batiste, jo Justin Bieber, and Doja Cat are amongst the artists with the most nominations this year. Joining us now for more on this is Harvey Mason Jr. He is the CEO of the Recording Academy, which orchestrates the annual Grammy Awards. As a producer, he has worked with artists including Elton John and the late Aretha Franklin and Michael Jackson. Sure. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, the decision was a complicated one. January 31st was our original date. And... Uh, Omicron was really kind of starting to take off and seemed like it was going to peak here in L.A. right around that same time. So we didn't feel it was smart or responsible or safe for our artist community. Also, the almost 400 people that work on the show and then fans of, of Music's Biggest Night would have been potentially uh, exposed being in uh, Staples Center or Crypto.com Arena on that date. So we felt it was prudent and smart to start looking at other dates. We wanted to coordinate with our partners at CBS uh, and uh, make sure that we were considering a date that made sense for them as far as airtime. And that kind of narrowed down the window to a place where we knew about when we could have it. And that started us on a hunt for the great venue. Uh, Los Angeles wasn't going to work in the time frame that CBS needed us to be on air. So we started looking at other cities and we ended up in Las Vegas, which we're really excited about. We've got a great venue, we've got amazing events set up for the week, and uh, we're thrilled to be doing it there on April 3rd. Harvey, as the Academy's first black CEO, you've uh, made it clear that you are focused on making sure there's more inclusion, there's more diversity. Even last year, talking about hiring the first diversity, equity, inclusion officer. What are some of the changes that we'll see this year in terms of the differences that, that have been made since you took the helm? Well, how long of a show do we have to work <laughs> with here? I, because the changes are extreme and they're lengthy. And Fortunately, I've had great partnership with our board of trustees and our chairwoman, Tammy Hurt. We've also got incredible support from the staff and members, uh, and the changes have been long and many. They're internally with our hiring practices, they're uh, in our membership, they're around our elected leadership and how we constitute our board members, they're around our partnerships with Color of Change and now GLAD most recently. Everything that we're doing, we're taking a look at through a fresh lens. Obviously, as you said, I'm a uh, a diverse, uh, I fall into a diverse category as a CEO. So it's very important to me, but also just for the good of the business and for the good of the industry and the community that is music, it makes sense. And it's only the right thing to do to be uh, well represented and really reflecting the community that makes and creates all this amazing art. And then the consumers who listen to all this beautiful music. So it's important for us to make sure that we're, we're very diverse and inclusive in, in everything we're doing. It goes all the way to the show. And we just introduced a, an inclusion writer. We're the first uh, music awards show to do that. Mm. And that inclusion writer is going to be something we really pay close attention to this year with all of our events, including the Grammy telecast on April 3rd. Sounds great. Now, Harvey, you, of course, have a background as a music producer. How will that role play in shaping the show? It affects every decision that I make as a CEO, and I think it does correlate directly to decisions that are made on the show because we want to showcase excellence, but we also want to lift the music industry and the music community. Uh, music people are very important to me. I'm from that community. Uh, I'm one of our members. Obviously, I've been a member of the Academy for quite some time. So when we look to do things around our show or when we do things other than our show, remember our show is one night a year. The rest of the year, 364 days, the Academy is acting in service to members and music people all around the globe, specifically in America, through our advocacy work, through our museum education, uh, all the work that we do around music cares, being a safety net for music creators. So everything we do at the Academy is based on making sure we're looking out for music people because to me it's you know, i don't want to oversimplify it here but music is so important to what's mm -hmm. happening in our world and our culture and society music heals music uplifts brings people together it talks about what's coming around the corner it can predict what the next things are going to happen in our society so uh, i just see music as being really important and something worth 
paying close attention to and supporting and uplifting. Absolutely, and thank you for shedding some light on all the things that the Academy does during the year, because like mm -hmm. you said, the Grammys are just one night a year, and clearly you're doing a lot for music, you know, 365 days out of that year. I want to ask you about Trevor Noah, because he is hosting the Grammys for a second consecutive time, so yeah. clearly you guys liked him the first time around. Uh, why was he specifically selected to host, and what can we expect him to bring to the show? I mean, we love him, right? Don't you love him? He's <laughs> I amazing. Love him. I think yeah, we do. Such a good host, just so personable, mm -hmm. so intelligent, so quick on his feet. And these type of shows are hard to do. You know, you can't just be a normal person and hope to announce this artist and that artist. You have to be able to react. You have to also be very relatable. Uh, I just find him to be extremely um, smart and thoughtful in the way he presents the way he interacts with talent. And also, he's a music lover. He's a junkie. You know, when you mm -hmm. watch him during the show, if you catch him off camera, he'll be singing every <laughs> lyric. He'll be dancing in the background. So uh, I think he perfectly fits with what we're trying to do as an academy going forward. And just having his support has been amazing for us. You know, we were, we were concerned when we moved the date. He was one of our first phone calls. Mm. Trevor, are you going to be able to move with us to this new date? And so thankfully he was. So really appreciate him. Yeah, nice. I know from reading his memoir that music yeah. played a big role in, in his life as a yeah. young man in mm -hmm. South Africa. So, yeah. Absolutely. The performers, uh, Harvey, of the 2022 awards have yet to be announced. So we would like to know, is there anyone in particular you're hoping to see on stage? Or maybe you could give us a clue of who might be there. Well... <laughs> I am also a music junkie, so I love every type of music. And I think the one thing I can tell you, you will see on stage is a diverse group of creators and different mm -hmm. people from different genres representing a lot of different styles of music and races and ages and ethnicities. And to me, this is the beauty of music. This is the melting pot of entertainment. And this is where we get to hear so many different perspectives, so many different styles. Uh, and we get to really use music and the platform that is the Grammy show to a showcase and shine a light on our amazing industry and our amazing community. So no exact specifics on artists yet. I'll leave you with a little bit of mystery. <laughs> I have some, I have some guesses, but I don't artists. want to blow up your spot. I've got some guesses. But, you know. Really putting, a, putting the pressure on you. <laughs> it's going to be big, I promise. All right. Uh, Harvey Mason, Jr., CEO of the Recording Academy. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was really a pleasure talking with you. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And the 2022 Grammy Awards will air Sunday, April 3rd on CBS from 8 to 11.30 p.m. Eastern. The awards show can also be streamed live and on demand on Paramount+.